On one occasion a year, they turn on the stadium lights at Spruce Meadows for horses and riders around the world to compete under the lights in the Atco Electric Six Bar at the Spruce Meadows Masters. It's become one of the great traditions in international show jumping. The international ring at Spruce Meadows awaits no problem, John Garner, in memorizing the course. Sense of relief, maybe, as Kyle Tim has his first effort in the international ring under his belt. Talk about a veteran, the defending champion, Nick Skelton of Great Britain aboard the Stallion Russell under very demanding conditions a year ago, wowed the world by jumping nearly two meters. Now he's looking to defend his title, and there's a lot of pressure on Skelton tonight. He still hasn't qualified for the Million Dollar CN International later on in the tournament, so he needs to win here. Well, that's a good stop. I don't think you'll see a smile on the face of the great British veteran. He's all business tonight, and he's got a clear round aboard Russell. Day at the office for this veteran combination. Wow, really nice shot there. Russell's front legs, very square, knees together. He really is built for this competition, extremely brave. There you can see the huge crowd in their shirt sleeves here at spruce meadows a year ago on this date it was light flurries <laughs> mixed with rain today 25 degrees not a cloud in the sky and a huge group looking at the work of this man the maestro of the international ring leopoldo palacios he's seen the horses go now john he he knows the horsepower that he's dealing with tonight so the onus is on him now to keep them advancing Right, so the trick now for him is obviously every jump now goes up, every jump gets bigger. He has to decide how quickly he's going to go up with the last couple of obstacles. Biet Manley, the champion in 96 and 97 here at Spruce Meadows on both occasions, going over two meters in the final round. Nick Skelton looking to join the history books here with a second victory. He's got Russell looking to be in good shape here. Russell a little keen to the first one. Settled in nicely though now into his rhythm. Very nice. You can hear the trumpeters fanfare saluting a clear round by Nick Skelton and Russell. The fans know that he's a master of this game. Looking forward to seeing him in the next round. Just watch here though, Ian. He said very nice, but the horse stalled a little bit and slipped, I think. And just saw Nick go to the whip a little bit afterwards, and I think he was in two minds. Was the horse trying to stop or thinking? I think it slipped a little bit. And if we go back to... Spruce Meadows, the game's changed a bit, John. Well, the most obvious thing, Ian, we've gone from six jumps down to three. So fences one, two, and three are out. The riders just jump four, five, and six. You can see the height. Meter 60, meter 74, and one meter 90 for Fender's The third round of competition here at Spruce Meadows. The second jump off round, and Nick Skelton and Russell will now take on this line of three. Nick moving from right to left down the line. A little bit of a rub, but he's on to the next go. Two for two, over a meter 90. That final vertical is looking rather steep. But the two veterans have showed that it's certainly doable. Lots of scope over the first jump. Really nice shape. Look at Russell's ears pricked forward. We did get a bit of a lucky rub there, Ian. Nick Skelton readies himself for the next jump off round. Gecko's very happy with this. So the Netherlands is still in play, as is Great Britain with both Ellen Whitaker and Nick Skelton. Biet Manley and Eric Lamaze round out those that have earned a ticket to the next round of the Atco Electric Six Bar at the Spruce Meadows Masters. Of course, designer Leopoldo Palacio is putting the final touches on the third jump off round, and it's getting pretty steep out there, John. It's getting really steep, Ian. Here we go, the numbers I have for the jumps. Fence number four, meter 70. Fence number five, meter 85. And fence number six, a flat two meters. 
that's big no matter whether you put it in feet and inches or meters and centimeters in. Best seats in the house to watch Nick Skelton see if he can get Russell through Coming another round of competition is here. To this fourth round. Again, the height of that six bar is two meters. Nick Skelton from Great Britain on number two. Four remaining that have a chance to either win this thing outright or advance to another jump off round here. Maximum of four jump off rounds allowed under the rules of the FEI. Looking to put the pressure on now. We should point out that Biet Manley leads with eight faults right now. Nick's just looking to keep Russell settled. Whoa. My goodness me. Wasn't that something? Talk about a skywalker. Russell had at least 10 centimeters over that final vertical, I think. As the fences have gone bigger, Russell has jumped better, which is for sure a mark of a great six bar horse. But Nick gets him in. He gets him on line, and now he just leaves it up to him. Keeps the contact, but presses. Look at that. There was absolutely no doubt he was going to jump that clear. We'll talk about serving notice. Russell and Nick Skelton finishing up here, and maybe even a bit of a grin on his face. And there we see our international leaderboard. Representatives from all over the world. But Nick Skelton retains his title. As the song says, the more things change, the more they stay the same. On this night, one year ago, it was raining, snowing, bitterly cold, and Nick Skelton jumped to victory. Fast forward 12 months, the conditions were perfect. The result, however, the same. As Great Britain's Nick Skelton and Russell took on the world's best and out-jumped them all to claim the Atco Electric Six Bar. For Ian Allison and Robin Reed, I'm John Garner. Good night from Spruce Meadows.